In this segment, we'll look at how to access and maintain password and account settings in an Outlook.com account, Microsoft's replacement to its older Hotmail service. Outlook.com differs from Microsoft's Outlook email application of the same name since it's a free web-based email service you can access from any computer with an internet connection. To manage your settings in Outlook.com, create or log in to your account. The clean and sparse design of the email pages hides a few other useful services in your Outlook account. Hovering your cursor over the Outlook logo, top left will bring up a small drop-down arrow. Click on this to choose any of the three other services. People, where you add and manage your contacts. Calendar, where you can manage your diary or schedule and SkyDrive, where you can create, upload and manage documents on Microsoft's cloud-based service. Your Outlook profile and password are linked to all of these services. To manage your account profile visible to others, click on the small user icon top right in the browser window and select Edit Profile. From here, you can edit your name and contact information upload a picture and link to any Microsoft Messenger account you may have. Don't forget to hit save on any changes. More detailed information on your Outlook account is managed under Account Settings, where you can choose a different email address and edit your personal information. It's important to use unique and secure passwords for your different online accounts, including social media services, this will help avoid your personal information and account data being compromised or stolen through any lapse in your own activity, but also possible security breaches with your service provider. If you decide you no longer want to use the Outlook.com service, you can easily close your account from this same menu. When it comes to managing detailed settings for your email in Outlook.com, click on the small cog icon top right and choose more email settings from the drop down menu. A number of settings are now categorised under managing your account, writing email, reading email, preventing junk mail and customising Outlook. We'll look at some options under the last two areas as these relate to safety and privacy. Under Preventing Junk Mail, the Filters and Reporting option lets you choose whether Outlook's standard filter catches spam or junk mail, or whether its exclusive option allows only trusted email from your contacts and recognised Microsoft services through to you. You can choose whether you have the option to report junk mail or just delete it, and how email attachments are managed from people you don't know. The Safe and Block Senders area lets you create a trusted list of people outside of your contacts that will not be diverted to your junk folder. Mailing lists you're happy to receive emails from and specific senders you want to block email from. Again, remember to save any changes you make to settings. In the Customising Outlook area, you can manage advanced privacy settings to control how Outlook auto-completes people you add to an email and whether you can access messages you may have previously deleted. The remaining customization options allow you to set your default language, map keyboard shortcuts to mimic other services you might use, apply rules to incoming messages, move any flagged messages at the top of your email list and set up shortcut actions that will be visible on messages you receive. When using webmail services like Outlook.com, it's a good idea to log out when you've finished your session.